Hi, and welcome to another episode of Starship Gaming, and today is going to be a brief little video. It's more or less me airing my grievances, or I should say, stating my opinion. It recently came to my attention that a particular PS4 game that I had in my possession was worth quite a bit of money, and in all honesty, it is in the uh, now it is now in the top five rarest PlayStation 4 games. How it got there, I don't know how the hell it got there. But today we are going to discuss the 2015, or I should say 2014 technically, but for the sake of this video, the American release, the 2015 Godzilla video game and why the hell it's worth so much. So, here's how this story started, and I'll try to keep this video as brief as possible. I was looking through my, uh, well I have an app where I keep track of all my games and it keeps track of current values and whatnot, and I noticed that suddenly overnight my collection for PS4 had jumped by $170. Yes. So I did some investigating and found out that my copy of Godzilla, uh, the app was saying was worth at that time, and this was back in November, near the end of November of 2019, uh, it said that it was worth over 170 at that time. Now, the thing is, the game sells right now for roughly, eh, anywhere from for a, a complete copy about anywhere from 120 to 275 depending on who you get it from uh, the median price right now as of this recording is about 150 um, well eh, I'd say about 150 to 175 on a normal basis but it's just strange how it just jumped suddenly in value and became one of the top five rarest PS4 games, you know, but, um, you know, I have some theories behind that. Of course, GameStop's website still lists the used copy running $59.99. I remember seeing it on their website as low as $14.99 at one point, um, and, uh, somebody I know recently, uh, sold a copy of it without knowing, sold it to somebody in a yard sale, uh, like back in September of 2019 for ten dollars not knowing what they had but the the price of this I did a little bit of research it started going up in value sometime around uh, roughly February February or March of 2019 it appears um, before that, it was just like a cheap game, or it was just, it kept going down in value, and it wasn't on the market for very long, so that could be one reason why it's worth a lot. Nobody really played it. So, it, it, I guess they just kind of took it off the market because nobody really bought it. I mean, I pre-ordered the game because I was a, you know, and still am, uh, a huge Godzilla fan, and uh, it was just one that I just had to have, and I actually had heard about it for well over a year, um, and in Japan it got a release for both PS3 and PS4, the United States only got the PS4 release, so, you know, it not selling well is probably one reason why it's so rare, another reason is probably lack of marketing, because the game was hardly marketed, like there was very little information about it out there, the only way you really would have known about it is if you followed publications at the time, or you were a Godzilla fan. Now, friends of mine at the time, I told them they need to get it, and they basically mocked the game, which was a huge mistake on their part, because, well, usually a game that doesn't sell very well or kind of sucks, in some cases, usually work, uh, ends up being worth a lot of money. Example, Earthbound. <laughs> Yes, Earthbound. Er, it's basically the Earthbound for the PS4 in terms of what happened with it. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was, you know, someday the rarest PS4 game ever released. Like, I could probably see it going for 
four or $500 within the next 15 years, maybe even more. I mean, unless somebody finds a whole warehouse full of these things, but that's pretty unlikely. So we have two reasons so far. Um, you know, you know, they pulled it off the market. Nobody played it. Nobody bought it hardly unless they were a Godzilla fan. And lack of marketing. And I guess word of mouth had something to do with it. Like, oh, you know, you walk over here, you, you get rid of this generator, you fight some monsters, that's it. And it was people like that 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 word got out and it caused it to fail. But I thank you very much because now I have something that's worth a lot of money. So I, I thank all the haters of, of the game out there. You have made me a very moderately wealthy man. I mean, you know, for over a hundred dollars. But, uh, <laughs> and a lot of people probably feel like that too. Especially the guy that sleeps with his earthbound cartridge every night. Uh, every night. Yeah, I'm looking at you, uh, Fred. Actually, I don't know anybody named Fred, but I'm sure there's a Fred out there that cuddles with his Earthbound and Dracula X cartridges every night when he goes to bed because he does not want any other human touching them. So, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, Godzilla for PS4. If you find a copy under 50 bucks, you better grab that sucker like it's on fire. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out if you do. It helps us grow. It motivates us to make more videos. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell if you want notifications of when we release more awesome videos. And until next time, I will see you.